Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting, Microsoft is replacing the mail and calendar apps with the new Outlook for Windows, which by the end of this year, 2024, will be the default email client on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, I have found that also due to the comments on the channel and also reports that um, the new Outlook for Windows is a app you either like or you don't. You can't. I have found that people are either in one category or the other. And as mentioned, this is replacing the the legacy mail app on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, just to give you a quick heads up, um, and as spotted by Zeno over on X, that the try new Outlook toggle or setting or option, as we can see, is back uh, in the new Outlook for Windows, and um, it's also back in the legacy Mail app. Now, I've long since uninstalled Mail from both my Windows computers, but here's the screenshot of the um, the legacy Mail app. And uh, here we go, try the new Outlook, you can toggle that off, as you can see, and we can see in the new Outlook that toggle is still there. So that means that Microsoft has reversed that decision to remove this so you can obviously roll back to the older legacy mail app and now you can switch between the two apps um obviously according to your own personal choice and preference or you can run the new outlook and the mail app basically um, in conjunction side by side with each other now as mentioned um the mail app is something that microsoft is going to discontinue by the end of this year, the 31st of December 2024, um, you won't be able to download the mail app, the old email um, default mail app from the Microsoft Store. And also, um, if there's a good chance that if it is already installed on your system by the time Microsoft reaches that cutoff date at the end of this year, um, the default mail app, the legacy old mail app, so to speak, will stop working. And my, Microsoft will start migrating you as I've posted before, over to the new Outlook. And already in some cases, Microsoft has already started migrating a whole lot of users, but you can now toggle that back. And obviously that means that you can um, roll back to the the old mail app. But um, just remember though, that when the end of the year comes though, it's not available in the Microsoft store and there's a good chance Microsoft will then remove the old mail app from your system and migrate you over to the new Outlook. So although this option is available now, it's not a long-term solution, and at this stage, there's no information um, why Microsoft um, kind of backtracked, for want of, want of a better word, um, uh, to let you be able to roll back to the old mail app for now. But if anything changes, and I get more info, as always, I'll keep you guys posted and in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.